guys are in for a treat. We have Mike Brock from TBC. Mike, you can share a little bit what you do. And um, he's with Transform with the Bay with Christ. Uh, some of you already met him. And uh, Mike, thanks for coming out. I really yeah, appreciate thank you. bringing your, uh, your cute little daughter with you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I look forward. Thank you, brother. Great, thank you. Appreciate right. it. Great. All right, nice. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me this morning. I used to be a pastor for uh, many years, Yo era pastor por años. and my heart grew for the community. Y mi por la I love the church, me la but I wanted to serve the people in need. Pero me, me gusta a la gente en We had 60,000 square feet of church space. Yeah. And we cut it in half. And we gave 30,000 to our community. And in big words, we wrote community. Welcome. We started serving them in many, many programs. And then we took those programs and we moved them to different places all over the city. because our heart was bleeding for what God wanted to do in our cities. And that's kind of what Transforming the Bay with Christ is all about. As the Chief Strategy Officer, we believe in three things. Can we unify the body of Christ? The Bible says that they'll know God loves them by the way we love one another. Are you tired of disunity in the church? No. We want unity, right? Yeah. From Catholic to charismatic. Everything in between. Can we see one church? And can we see God move? It's not about speaking in tongues or lighting candles. It's about Jesus Christ. He died on the cross. He rose again. And he's coming back again. Amen. We have nearly 23 groups now with hundreds of pastors from every denomination praying together learning together and now serving together the second thing we do is called Amplify we want to reach our cities in transformative ways I'll embarrass myself by telling you one story. I worked in several Latino communities for 10 years. And I gave them turkeys for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and this lady came to me. Señor, no pollo, or no, no turkey. I want pollo. <laughs> No Thanksgiving. No, dia, dia, gracias. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Often as a church, uh, we serve how we like to be served. We forget who we're serving. We forget love. And we do plans and strategies that don't really reflect God's heart. So we say, what does it look like to reach God's people in the way they deeply need to be served? Jobs? Housing? Money? All these things that they truly need. Medical help? Education. 
What does it look like when the people of God start serving the way that Jesus asked to be served? I came to your door and you did not clothe me. I went to prison and you did not see me. I was hungry and you did not feed me. Depart from me. We want to see the church and, and nonprofits serve the deep needs of the community. Not what we call evangelism. Yeah. There's evangelism. <laughs> and then there's event. Evangelism. <laughs> Three events a year from our churches Christmas, Easter, and do you know the third one? Thanks. Halloween alternative. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween usually. We give out candy. We give out Easter eggs. And bicycles. And then we say, good job. <laughs> we want to change that. TBC is not about us. It's about you. We serve leaders of leaders. You are transforming society. We want to help. We want to serve and build what you're building. There's only four of us. So we build services for you. And we learn from you. The last thing we do is multiplication. We want to see the church grow. House churches, community churches, small groups, big churches, small churches, computer churches, any kind of church. We want to see God expand it. Let's unify, amplify, and multiply. There's 7,320 churches in the Bay Area. Yeah, that's from Santa Rosa to Monterey. But only 2 to 4 percent Christians. They're not white. 65% is not white. But the biggest churches tend to be gringos. <laughs> we have to learn who God has brought to this area. Who started this area. And we have to serve in a culturally appropriate way. A contextual way. And that loves people the way that God wants to love them. It's not colonization. It's not indoctrination. It's knowing people and knowing communities. It's not me leading. It's you leading. It's not lots of white pastors leading. It's Latino pastors. African American pastors. Middle Eastern. Indian. Asian. Because that is what the Bay Area is. We have to rethink and reimagine what God is doing and you're essential. I love strategy. I love thinking of creative ways to serve communities. 
expresarla y ser creativo en lo que cómo podemos servir. I like dreaming all night of how we transform education. Soñar toda la noche cómo podemos transformar la educación. Poverty. La, cómo, cómo transformar Raise la living wages. Y empezar a subir los salarios. But if I'm not careful, Pero si no tengo cuidado, I'll turn into Martha. Me voy a, a, a crear como Martha, ¿se acuerdan? Martha, Martha, Martha. Before I close, because I've told you a little bit about what I do, I want to take a few minutes and minister to you. For 15 years I've done ministry. But for many years I've got caught in the kitchen. You're going to read a scripture if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah. We're going to read out of the Gospel of Luke. It's chapter 10. Verse 38. Verse 38. Yeah. Y acercándose dijo, Señor, ¿no te da cuidado que mi hermana me deje servir sola? Dile pues que me ayude. Respondiendo, Jesús le dijo, Marta, Marta, apanada y turbada estás con muchas cosas, pero solo una cosa es necesaria. Y María ha escogido la buena parte, la cual no le será quitada. Amén. Well, we strategize. While we be creative, we have to remember Jesus is in the room. A pastor named John Orberg once said that spiritual, this is not going to translate, so we can try something else. Spiritual habituation, which means no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Being around uh, something all the time, you get habituated to it. You know, like a watch. I never wore watches. Then I put on a watch. Bothers me. I hit everything. It bothers my skin. After a couple weeks, it's okay. I got used to it. Spiritual habituation. Getting used to it is more dangerous than spiritual depravity. Depravity is evil sin. I'm more worried that we'll fall into getting used to something than falling into sin. It's more dangerous. The scripture says, return to me the joy of my salvation and renew a right spirit within me. Michelangelo, he painted this picture. What do you notice about this picture? <laughs> Besides this, no. <laughs> God is 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 yearning and reaching out to Adam. His hair, he's reaching out to Adam. Si 
Esta es una versión de Dios y Adán. But Adam just sits there. Pero Adán solo está sentado. He knows that the flick of the wrist. Y él solo puede enderezar su, su muñeca. He can touch God. We get used to God's power. We get used to Him being in our lives. And like Mary Martha, we invite Him into the community. We invite Him into our houses. We invite Him into our ministries. But we forget that he's powerful. We forget that the most important thing we can do is sit at his feet. To sit at his feet. We get so busy in ministry. We do, do, do. And we get stuck in the kitchen. We can never get used to Jesus. Nunca lo vamos a a Jesús. We can never get used to what God wants to do in our communities. Nunca te vas a lo que Dios hacer en tu we have to sit at his feet. Que hacer lo we can't be like Adam. No puede ser como Adam. We have to chase after God. Que a Dios. Do you remember when you were saved? ¿Te tú eres, fuiste salvo? The ¿Te joy, te the excitement. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Change my life. Now I forget. Let's close our eyes. If you can lift your hands. Lord God, renew the joy of our salvation. Let us not get trapped in the kitchen. Let us not so be so worried about how we do what we do. But Lord God, let us sit at your feet. Let us learn from you, Lord. Let us know you. Let us experience you. Amen. Do you know what a cup and a saucer is? Uh, the, the plate and the cup? I say my ministry is, is cup and saucer. Okay. I'm drinking out of my saucer because my cup is overflowing. You can't minister with a dry cup. Every day, the Lord fills the cup. Every day, he renews us. And then we pour out to the community. Because God is coming alive inside of us. Amen? All right, gracias.